Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom, and today we're gonna use a cane pole to catch some big small creek bluegills. Let's check it out. Ooh, it's a nice one outside today. Probably 86 degrees in Southeast Michigan. Woohoo! I hope everybody watching this is having a good day given the circumstances currently in the United States with the coronavirus. This entire spring has been really weird for a lot of people I know, but the fishing's been pretty good. Uh, I've got this small creek. Looks like it's full of nice sized bluegills and I'm gonna take my cane pole and drop a small bait on them. And I want you to come along with me and check it out because I bet you I might get a couple of nice ones. I've got a few ice fishing baits to use to see if I can co coax a big one into biting. But let's get at it. Now for, for those of you who really aren't into cane pole fishing, pretty simple. All you ne might need are some small split shots of the equipment if you want to put a slip float on there. I like using long shank panfish hooks for when they really bite it down. And I even brought this Lindy Frosty spoon down here to see if I can coax the big one into biting it. Um, I'm already rigged up today. My cane pole of choice is a 10 foot Shakespeare Durango and it is a telescopic pole. So you don't need to worry about having any troubles to store it. And I put about maybe seven feet of line on there going down to a number eight Aberdeen hook we'll put a little bit of worm on there and we're gonna go down here and see if we can get somebody to bite I bet you we can oh wow yeah there's some real nice ones in there let's see how many I can get There's the first one. Hey, nothing too big. But I don't care if they're really big out of here. I think it's really cool fishing them in super clear water. Trying to get the big ones to bite. These are super spooked fish. Ooh, there's one coming right for us. Ooh. Second to hit the water. Getting a little bigger, getting a little bigger. How's that for you folks? I hope you I hope you're enjoying a panfish video. Man, there's some really nice ones sitting down there. Just how can I get those ones to bite? Uh, small guy. Now the bigger ones are sitting on the bottom. And these small ones are hanging out right underneath the surface. And when this worm is drifting in towards them, the small ones are beating the big ones to it. Might put on a small jig, see what I can do. Let's just see what I got going on here. Gosh, my fingernails are gross. Hey, get a little bigger. Whew. Just like that. Hey, nice one right there. Oh, hey, this one's a little bit bigger. Come on, there's a lot bigger ones down there, though. Man. Nice bluegills for a little creek like this. All these fish weren't here last night. That or they were hiding in the reeds when I came through. I was trying to spotlight car.
Oh shoot. Ah oh, shoot. Like one second. There we go. Oh hey. I got one. And I can say goodbye to my dad before he goes to work. Have a good one, Dad. Oh yeah, make it nice and sloppy. Oh gosh, I just hate how dirty night crawlers are. But springtime panfish like them. No, I want. Let's play. Ah, oh, there's one. Oops. Ugh. Hey, that might be the one I just caught. That or there's a couple out here with the same markings. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, there's another one. These fish are just so pretty. Very nice one. Oh, hey. It's... Ow, frick! That hurt! That was about time for a little bit of a size upgrade. Nothing too bad. Having fun on the cane pole. I'm able to drop it right adjacent to where these fish are hanging out. And they are just getting all over it. They're wanting every second of it. We're gonna go with the good old pixie spoon now. Frosty spoon by Lindy. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I didn't even have the camera going. First flip. Oh, come back here. Oh, wow, that really active bait just sent him wild and he came through and bit. What a, what a fat little rock bass. Look at that. You get to go back. I'm just flinging it up and they're just coming in and smacking it. Oh wow, yeah, he's a scrappy little dude. Woo, woo hoo. There's a little rock bass. Oh my gosh, it's the second it's going down there. Holy cow. Here's a, here's a another nice rocky lindy frosty spoon just dropping it down on them and they're going ballistic for it i i've been talking to some people in the comment section about having me explain better what i'm doing so i'm going to try to do that for y'all in the future now but right now this is just pretty simple i'm seeing them hang out they're kind of spooky, but they're very hungry. And this is just a little ice fishing bait. I picked on them with worms earlier, but this is what I'm gonna use to catch something, you know, noteworthy out of here. Cause some of these, some of these bluegills or rock bass, whatever the heck they are, they look quite nice. Oh, finally got him to bite. Finally got him to bite. Ooh, ooh. Nice one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Just picked it right off the bottom. Oh wow, it came up and smoked it. Oop! Well, I'm going to throw him a curveball. Let's tip this spoon with this night crawler. Wow, my hands are filthy. That's gross. I'm a fisherman, it's okay. Let's just globber that worm on there. 
and drop it on the bigger ones back there. I bet you, I bet you this might get somebody bigger into biting. By no means a giant, but it's a very pretty one. So, look, at, look at how big that bait is compared to this fish. Goodness gracious, somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to get me some of that. Let's see. Oh, this is a nice one. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Flipping them around. There we go. Hey, hey, look at that. One. Nothing like good old fish catching. I don't care what it is some days of the week. I'm just happy I can get out, you know? Okay. I'm going to put this right on a little pack of big ones. Just like that guy right there. He looks like he could... Ah, oh, no, not you. Whoa! Hey. Drifted it right back into his mouth. Look at... Oh, look at how white that belly is. Everything loves this Lindy Frosty spoon. It's a fat rock bass. Did you play the guitar on the MTV. I'm just harping on him today. Boom. Totally jigged him up. That was sick. Like I was ice fishing. Put it on the bottom. Jingle it a little bit. See how they respond. Wow, this is fun. You just put that little bit of worm on there and they go crazy for it. Jeez, oh, Pete's. But if it's just the spoon, they're a little bit more apprehensive. Let's see if I can get one more before the storm rolls in. Okay, so... Oh, hey, that's, that's oh, lost him. Let's see if I can. Hey, 
that's a nice bluegill. That's a really nice bluegill. I think that's what I'm going to end this video off with. Nice little creek bluegill like this. Get them jigging the ice fishing spoons in summertime on the cane pole. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. All right, just kidding, just kidding. That wasn't my last fish. This will be my last fish. Last nice, super white rock bass. Just dropped it in on him. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, I had fun for what it was. Uh, it's always good to get out, go do a little fishing even if it is for about 45 minutes or so it really goes to show all you need is hey a few inches of water and you're all set to catch some fish in the right situation if you're new to my channel please be sure to like and subscribe and until next time i'm your friend dominic have a good one